In this video, we're going to talk about the relationship between entropy and enthalpy of the systems and the surroundings. We're going to relate the changes of the systems surroundings in the universe in regards to entropy and entropy, enthalpy. First, let's get back our fundamental discussion of the relationship of the systems surroundings in universe. Remember that the entropy of your system may go up or down. This will generally coincide with a change in entropy of the surroundings. If you add these up, you would then get the change in entropy of the entire universe. These are also related to enthalpy. If a process is exothermic, it releases energy into the surroundings. This increasing energy of the surroundings increases the surroundings entropy. Similarly, an endothermic process brings energy from the surroundings into the system. This will generally decrease the energy of the surroundings, decreasing the surroundings entropy. Let's look a bit more closely at this last section. There is a temperature dependent relationship between the enthalpy of the systems and the entropy of the surroundings. This relationship causes there to be a temperature dependence of the spontaneity of a process. Here I have the graphs for water freezing. Take a moment and even pause the video and look at these graphs closely. It'll help you when I go into the discussion. Now at low temperatures, this is a spontaneous process because the heat released in the process is enough to make the entropy of the surroundings increase, enough to counteract the decrease of the system's entropy. However, if you move to high temperatures and you look at the high temperature graph, this heat release is not enough to increase the entropy. So it doesn't counteract that of the solid forming and the process becomes non-spontaneous. Now let's take what we just talked about and rephrase it a little bit. And we're going to put it into mathematical languages. If the system gains or releases heat, the heat is absorbed from or released into the surroundings. We know this from earlier videos. Now this is equal in magnitude, but opposite in sign. So what one loses, the other gains. The entropy of the surroundings is inversely proportional to temperature. So let's write that in math. The entropy of the surroundings is inversely proportional to temperature. Now, if we combine these two, we can state that the ds of the surroundings, or the change in entropy of the surroundings, is equal to the negative enthalpy of the system, or the negative dh of the system, over t. That might sound like a lot of equations, but it really is what we just talked about in equation form. And we'll be able to use this equation for several different things. Let's do an example problem to help this make a little bit more sense. Here we have the combustion of propane, and I give you the enthalpy. From this, I ask you to calculate the entropy change of the surroundings, and to decide on the sign of the entropy change of the system. After we have all of this, you might be able to tell if the system is spontaneous or not. It might also be possible that you'd need more information. To calculate the entropy change in the surroundings, we'll use the equation from the previous slide. Try this yourself before moving on. We'll fill in our enthalpy and our temperature, making sure that our temperature is in Kelvin. It must be in Kelvin. This gives us an entropy change of 6.86 kilojoules per Kelvin, which we should know is positive, and therefore more likely to lead to a spontaneous process. For part B, we should note that all of the species are gases, but we have six moles of reactants, seven moles of products. So this increase in moles means that entropy of the system increases as well. Finally, we are asked to see if we can decide the spontaneity. We have an exothermic reaction, which is more likely to be spontaneous, and the entropy of both the system and the surroundings increase. Therefore, everything is pointing toward it being spontaneous, and it must be spontaneous. There are situations where we wouldn't be able to do that, um, and we'll talk about those in a minute. In review, the delta S of the surroundings is inversely proportional to temperature, and so we can write this equation for it. The entropy of the universe is equal to that of the entropy change of the surroundings and the system. If the universe entropy is positive, it points in the direction of a spontaneous process. But if it's negative, it points in the direction of a non-spontaneous process. 